everybody. Lovely to see you all again. Been away for a little while. So, um, just thinking previously, something to talk about uh, for the preamble is um, this business with, um, say, factors for uh, the samadhi practice. And um, if you if you look at the say the five factors for the the jhanas for developing, say, quite deep. Uh, meditation, you know, where you have uh, applied uh, attention, sustained attention, uh, uh, say joy, uh, sukha, and one-pointedness of mind. And, um, you know, to get a really deep state of meditation, all those five factors need uh, to be there. But how, how do you actually approach this? How do, you, how do you work, or how do these factors actually develop as the, the practice goes along? So... When we look at the uh, the uh, the number one, say like a applied uh, attention on the uh, meditation uh, object, you know, essentially, you know, you're looking at uh, bringing one's one's awareness, one's uh, conscious awareness, on to the the object object itself, whether it's a, a mantra or the uh, you know the the breathing meditation. So, for example, when you do a, a mantra format a repetitive mantra format that as soon as you contact the mantra you, you're quite aware you know you you hear the sound uh, the mental sound in one's mind and you know that your mind you know is actually in contact with the uh, the thought the thought of the mantra as it continues and um, it's quite clear sometimes when we do more refined objects like the the breath or sometimes even some people with walking they find their attention slips and um, they don't notice uh, so so quickly. So, but naturally, with that, any kind of um, very more sort of um, some more coarse meditation practice, you know, you can tell when your mind is in your your conscious awareness is in contact with the object. So that's um, uh, applied sustention and uh, sustained attention is when you're able to ma maintain uh, mental contact with the meditation object. Uh, essentially continually you know you're looking at a like a sustained um, um, application and so it's it's like the continual conscious awareness of the the object of one's choice so it's like the uh, you know it's something you, you you sense within yourself and when we talk about say conscious awareness um, you know one is Essentially, you know, like fully aware of, of the, the object itself, how, how it arises, how it changes, at, at least to a, a surface level. You know, as soon as, um, as, soon as you lose it or as soon as it um, uh, escapes you, then sustained, sustained attention is, uh, is lost. And this, this business with um, both applied and sustained attention, it's, you know, you're not looking at an incredible amount of mental energy that you have to put forth. I mean, it's incredibly, incredibly light. It's just a matter of contacting the breath, contacting uh, the mantra. You know, even with myself, you know, I don't have incredibly um, deep meditation, but these days, I mean, I just find it almost quite effortless. You just place your attention, and it and it sticks. And um, so, you know, when, once your practice starts to come together, then that's you know, that's the kind of um, so like parameters you you're looking at you're able to to hold the object very gently but you know easily one two three hours um, uh, at a stretch you know while you're calming uh, the mind down and so as you're able to sustain your uh, your focus and the mind refines down then uh, essentially you, you're going to get um, different types of, uh, say, joyful feeling you know, arising both in the, the mind uh, and the body. So you know, you're looking at five levels of, of say, rapture, of, uh, uh, of uh, say, pleasurable feeling, and um, you know, both from, say, like tingling on the surface of the skin to, say, like waves of, of rapture moving through the whole body and moving... Uh, experiencing, you know, naturally you experience uh, the sensations within the mind, within the awareness of the mind, but you know these, um, uh, say, uh, feelings of of, uh, of energy 
joyful uh, rapturous energy moving through the body and virtually like you can, you can get like a, a whole body experience which people may feel is, sim is similar to almost uh, say like opening the, um, uh, the Kundalini where you, you get um, constant energy just moving up through the spine and through the um, not, not only up to the head section but through the, um, uh, the limbs uh, as well and um, you know as one person mentioned to me uh, a number of years ago that they were meditating it was, there was one, one, one late evening they were meditating probably around uh, 11 uh, p.m. or just after and the mind just suddenly they must have been in a sort of like a, a, um, a, a just a very they must have induced a very um, a, a state of samadhi where the factors just came together just momentarily for about say five or say maybe seven seconds um, maximum and the they had this incredible wave of um, of energy you know just like moving through the uh, up you know up from the soles of the feet the chi points at the soles of the feet you know just over a period of say minimum five to seven seconds right through the body you know moving up the spine and then and then and then hitting the um, the, the upper say cerebral area where the you know conscious awareness in the in the upper head section cerebral area and, and then the mind just exploding um, into light so the the, 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 the samadhi factors that just come come together momentarily for a short period of time and, and um, but the the energy flow in that very short burst of, of uh, uh, that release of energy or that say conduction of energy was enough to uh, essentially to keep them awake for I mean hours you know you wake up at you know, two o'clock in the morning, and um, the the person described it as as being so like plugged into the universe, where the where the um, the, the natural energy, uh, say within the environment, just just moves right through you. You just open all the channels, and you become like almost like a conduction rod. And um, that person was like wide awake for till about six. They said six a.m., and then they had a nap for about. 30 minutes and then came up um, for the breakfast so sometimes you know quite unusual um, things can happen so it's virtually like uh, the samadhi experience bordering on the you know moving into the the, the samadhi nimitta uh, stage where the the relaxation the tranquility is at a level the letting go is you know it's the bottom line the letting go of the thinking po process reaches a point where the uh, samadhi nimitta arises, but but not just that not just that that samadhi nimitta on the mind level, but just that incredible rush of of, um, of energy moving through uh, both the body uh, and the mind, and so you know you can experience um, say rapturous you know both pity rapturous feeling at at, uh, at that level if the if the, if the samadhi is quite good, and but but over time as you gradually refine uh, the mind and uh, refined um, both the, the, the mental factors and the, uh, the body and um, emotional uh, energies that um, you know the, 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 that more sort of energetic rapturous feeling starts to move into uh, say sukha you know pity it's more like it's, it's actually pity sukha not sukha in, as that you get in the third jhana but um, you know the 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 pity which 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 eventually takes you into the um, uh, upachara samadhi and first jhana. So that it's more like and the the ref the refinement. So uh, you know some people who experience that kind of f very very strong rapturous feeling may be very very um, quite impressed uh, by that and um, you know may feel that uh, you know they're, they're they're in the ballpark. They're on their way to. Uh, you know, say full uh, unification of mind, but you can still go quite a lot further than that. And as you as you keep refining the meditation down, you get this um, uh, super the way they describe it, the super sensual um, piti sukha, which uh, almost essentially no no worldly experience could really it doesn't it doesn't make any difference what it is, whether it's drugs or uh, sex or whatever it is, it can't it can't possibly touch that state. So anyone, any any of you who get that pity sukha, a genuine pity sukha state, um, you'll be able to see very very clearly that it's something which rises um, beyond the, the normal our, our normal sensual world. And uh, when the the, the pity sukha 
you know, the Samadhi Nimitta arises and the Piti Sukha starts to develop, you know, drawing, you know, that Piti Sukha, the, that incredible uh, bliss draws you in and then draws you into the mind and then into um, uh, full unification for uh, one point in this where the mind is very, very, it's almost, you could almost, the way you would, might describe it is, is your mind is, is like one pointed, like on, on an atom. It's not like being one pointed within the, the space frame of a, a millimeter. It's, inc- it's incredibly, very, very sharp and fine and, um, you know, very, very deep, deep within itself. And, you know, with that kind of uh, perspective, an incredibly fine point, but fully contained uh, within itself. So, but, so with this business, with the, you know, when people are, are focusing on the meditation objects, some people, they tend to use a, maybe like a, a broad focus or medium range. But um, from what I've seen over the years, that the meditation never really, never really took off until you, you start to narrow the, f- the focus down as, as much as you possibly can. And, but do it in a comfortable way where you don't get um, excess uh, both uh, physical and um, uh, emotional tension, but the the with the with the both on the level of, of um, samadhi and vipassana that you never ever ne- uh, neglect the um, the process of investigation because you know samadhi is all, all um, using it, using effort and energy in samadhi is all all well and good but it's, it's got a, like a workable limit. Um, you know, you'll only get so far with it and you've got to, um, you know, you've got to put a minimum level of, of effort into uh, uh, investigation. You know, you can, you can basically swap back and forth. As you say, for example, um, you're doing your practice, maybe after about five minutes, you may see quite clearly what's blocking you, what's obstructing you. The mind you know, may be thinking about something in particular. And um, you... Uh, essentially, instead of just sitting there for another 30 minutes, and a, you know, or 45 minutes, um, you know, you just go straight to investigation because you, through investigation, that's what actually releases the mind from um, excessive thinking. It allows you to say, like, um, uh, you know, place things down and and uh, not get overly attached to um, different thoughts and feelings uh, in the mind. And uh, people with that investigation, it can be very comprehensive, you know, from every possible perspective, you know, getting a full comprehension of, of any particular mind state you're uh, attached to and in order to, uh, to, to relax that mind and, and release uh, that, ex- you know, that uh, excessive um, proliferation. And, but th- something I've been working with for at least the last well over 12 months now is, is the, the, the that Nietzsche contemplation of uh, Nietzsche, which the Buddha recommended in the suttas, like, you know, over and over again. And you do that with, um, as I've mentioned uh, pr- uh, previously, you do that with different dharma sets. You know, we, you, you do it with the, say, the four right efforts or the five controlling faculty, faculties or the seven uh, enlightenment factors. So within the, th- within the 37 enlightenment factors, you, you find the subsets or you can, you can do things like you can choose things in nature or choose, or if you really want to get the mind calm in a very, very short space of time, you choose one part of the body. It can be things like skeleton. It's not, this kind of practice is not everyone's cup of tea, but it's still very, very, very mild. And you just choose one. Uh, so, for example, it could be bones, it could be skeleton, and uh, it's changeable. Say so skeleton is changeable, or skeleton is changeable in nature, or the heart, as the heart beats, expands and contracts, the heart is changeable. In nature, you just use one single mantra. And because um, I've, I've done all sorts, I've experimented with this a lot, you know, it's well over a year now. And um, the, you, can use that, you can use that bodily mantra practice just to get you a, 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 an, an initial calm. You can use it for a minimum of five, ten minutes. And then you can go to a more, um, say, soft and fluffy practice like... Um, so like the four elements, you know, earth, wind, water, fire, those four mantras are changeable in nature. And because um, I've been going for about almost, say, 20 years now, and I essentially I can't get the practice any better than that. With that, you know, it's the kind of approach that I do constantly these days, and I swap and change with the uh, perceptions of different things. You know, so for example, you, can be a, you might be a person with a, a, a chemist background or biology or horticulture, and you can, you can, you can choose the things you want to... Uh, contemplate, but that uh, a Nietzsche sanya will help you release things uh, much, 
much more quickly than virtually any other method uh, you'll try. So we'll do, we'll, I'll tell you, we'll go through that. So um, if, uh, what we'll do is we'll, we'll use a, um, maybe because most of you have been meditating for quite some time, maybe we'll just go straight to a, um, a sharp focus and uh, we'll just make some small adjustment, adjustments with this perception of a Nietzsche. So what we'll do is with the, um, we'll do a composite, we'll do with the, with, the, with the breathing meditation that I want you to focus on, on the mouth section. This is it's because the, the mouth is, you can feel the sensations, it's very, very tangible, it's very obvious and um, much more comfortable than trying to go to one point at the nose where people might get excessive tension, but the, the mouth is very easy, very easy to find and, and uh, locate. And, um, and then just watch the breathing um, uh, at that, at that, that point uh, and at that area. And to start off with, we'll, we'll, do, the, um, we'll, do, a more, we'll do the more firm practice just for a short, short period of time, just so you can see the... We'll do an, it will, just to keep it nice and uh, uh, comfortable, we'll do something like, um, say, the, say like the, the heart the heart so you know the heart is is changeable in nature so your physical heart is changeable uh, in nature and you'll get a you'll possibly get a visualization over, over uh, as the minutes go by and we'll do that for just so you can see the full effect of it we'll do that for 10 minutes and and then we'll salt we'll swap over to a soft and fluffy um, practice for the rest of the session so um, so just get yourself in a comfortable we'll position with your back nice and straight, head upright uh, and but comfortable and if you put your hands in your lap it helps to draw the energy in towards the uh, centre of the body. Just make sure you haven't got anything tight around the waist, wrists and the throat. And so we'll start with the, um, with the heart, so focusing on the feeling of uh, of of the, uh, the the breathing, the breath cycle, watching the breath cycle at the area, the location of the mouth, you can feel it on the periphery there. It's very very obvious, and and use that that bodily mantra to get that very fast uh, initial calm uh, for ten minutes. You know, the, the your physical heart, you know, the heart is changeable, or the heart is changeable in nature. So as you as you're breathing in and out have big spaces between the syllables as you say as you as you're breathing out the heart and then breathing in breathing out is changeable and then breathing in breathing out in nature so big spaces between the words keep it nice and comfortable and we'll do that for the next 10 minutes
So we'll move across to a uh, more fluffy mantra formulation. So keep sustaining your attention uh, uh, on the mouth section with the, br- with the breath on the periphery. And, but use this, this new mantra, uh, elements are changeable or elements are changeable in nature using the same format, big spaces between the syllables as you, as you breathe um, uh, in and out for the rest of the session.
find that you're not settling down <coughs> uh, quickly enough, just go straight to investigation or the, uh, the insight practice and try to understand exactly what uh, those thoughts and feelings which are, are obstructing you are made of. You know, examine that mind state, uh, the attachment to any particular experienced person and uh, you know, try to understand exactly what's happening there from a, a full perspective because the more you see clearly what is, uh, is happening there, the mind understands and it relaxes and lets go and you drop to a slightly, a slightly calmer level.
towards the end of the session. So just reflect back and see what worked for you with the session and I'll uh, bring the gong three times so you can open your eyes when you're ready. Did um, anybody have any questions on the meditation at all? Um, so the the chant, the what do you call it, the mantra? Is it to stop to stop thinking? Yeah, yeah, essentially, what what happens is. We did, the reason why I put emphasis on this, the, the, the anicca, the, this, um, developing this perception of changeability, because I'm, I'm trying to like, maximise the detachment from the, the thinking process, from, uh, from feeling to a degree, because when, you, when you've got, uh, say, strong, especially strong feelings, or if you're overly intellectual, you may not be able to uh, stop thinking very easily. And the, the anicca sanyo, you, know, you can do this in a thousand different ways, depending on your uh, temperament, your makeup, and you essentially, it, it, it increases the, the, the process of like letting go on the mind level. And the way, the way it works is, um, is when you develop this, this attitude that all, all phenomena, all mind and body phenomena is, is changeable, uh, is, is, is like unsure, is not dependable, you, you start to loosen your grip on, on both on the, the mind and the, the physical body and the senses as well. And um, you, know, you, you can check with the Sutta formulations when the Buddha talked about the development of meditation, development of insight. Um, you know, he always talks about that. You, know, you develop you medit you know, the, med the samadhi to the best of your ability and then you, you go to the um, you get investigation of uh, phenomena. So wh whatever whatever you are attached to, that's that's what you really need to work on. You know. So for example, when I with, when I when I sit meditation, you know, if I don't if my, if I don't see any stillness within the first five minutes, I just go straight to investigation, and I, I go to just a, a a full peripheral investigation plus the anicca. So for example, the, I might have um, there could be I could have had a tiff with someone, and that person comes up in my mind and then I do a similar principle that person is changeable in nature or that person is empty or that person is the owner of their karma or that if you if it's really if you just can't let them go if it's really incredibly intense or that person will die or you know at one point at some point in the future that person will die and you know, if you want to if you want to maximize the letting go so if you've got even if you know people you work or if you have incredibly intense feelings about anyone or anyone, you know, especially people, you can use that kind of um, that kind of death perception. It's just a tool. It's not like you you want that person to die. You you just want to essentially want to let them go. You don't want any uh, any problem or difficulty with them. So, but you'll see yourself. I mean, if you you just it's it's well worth working over over you know over weeks and months. You can do this in many many different ways. But you know, I've, I've been doing this for you know practicing in monasteries for like 20 years now and I've, ne I've never seen a practice which is as good as this. I, can't, I mean I can't get it any better than this. If I, can't get, if I don't get calm I just go, I go straight to the heavy duty stuff. I go to the body and I go to death. But you know this is not everyone's uh, um, kind of, um, uh, it's not for everyone's temperament so you can, you can use the soft and fluffy ones. You can, you can just do them in different ways and especially to what, whatever you're attached to, you know. 
you loosen those attachments and get the mind to calm down very, very quickly. But um, just you can keep moving back between samadhi and uh, insight. But it's something you know, it's something. It's all very good for me to say these things, but you've you've actually you've got to see it within yourself. You've got to see the way it works, and um, because a, a Nietzsche permeates everything. You know, when, when we use these very general mantras, like I can say things like. Like, like the, the earth, earth is, is, is changeable, earth, see the earth element is changeable. And then you, you see the, you know, the earth element in, in any solid, firm material, the carpets, the, the chairs, the, the vegetation outside, the earth element going to, is going to be there in different densities. So you know, you're, you're, you're increasing this, um, this attitude of um, the detachment because the more attached you are, you, you're going to have a lot of difficulty settling down. You know, you, the, 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 way the, the way it works is you've, you've got to let go, you know, to, in, but you've got to do it with wisdom. It's not, forced doesn't, it's not effective enough. You know, it's like wisdom always has two to three times more mind power than just samadhi. You know, so samadhi, you know, that, this is why this anicca, it's, it's like a wisdom component. So you're constantly doing it all the time when you're sitting or walking or when you're on um, meditation retreat at Jana Grove or anywhere else. And it just gets stronger and stronger and stronger as the months go by. So you're able to get get still, get get peaceful, you know, much much more quickly as the the weeks and months go by. And when you're looking at the, the big picture with the rebirth process, you know, constantly reinforcing that perception of changeability. You know, it's going to take you a long way when it, when it comes to the end of your life, because as as the Buddha said, when you in order to break through to the enlightenment stages, you've got to do those three. As, at the basic level, the uh, anicca, dukkha, anatta, the changeability, the the unsatisfactoriness, and the emptiness of all phenomena. You know, if you if you want to take this take this practice to its highest level, you know, you have to do you have to do this kind of practice for for years and years and years in, in different ways. And um, and but it all you know. But when it comes time for you to, when your life term comes to an end in this particular life. All that, all that surface to intermediate level, uh, uh, um, say contemplation and uh, 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 contemplation of the nature, you know, will take you a long way, and you, you know you'll see that when it comes time for you to to die, you know, you'll, you'll uh, uh, you know the mind will be in a much more firm, solid state, and as far as the path factors, you know, because that, that principle of the nature it, it just it permeates everything, everything in the in the uh, the universe. I mean, you've you've got to have samadhi to. You've, in 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 essence, you've got to have upachara. If you're talking about actually breaking through to dhamma, you've got to have upachara samadhi as a minimum. You know, you won't you won't do it any other way. Like labeling and and um, it can be useful to a degree, but it's just not deep enough. It just doesn't it doesn't cut the ice. You know, you you have to do it the way the Buddha recommended in the suttas. You just, you know, you just, you know, just you whip out your, the nikayas, or you do word searches with your Kindle suttas, and it's just there, just over and over again, probably a hundred times, two hundred times in in the suttas. And um, but it'll, it'll uh, it may not necessarily, you may not necessarily, you know, get enlightened in day to day life, you know, right here and now. But that kind of contemplation will take you a, a long way. It's got a very, very firm. It's, it's got a reality, a reality basis to it, in the long term. The, the syllabus, you said the four syllabus. What do you mean by four syllabus? So, sorry, the what? The four syllabus. Four elements. Yeah, earth. Oh, four elements. We, that's yeah. That's what I was doing when I was sitting here. Earth, wind, water, fire. The the only re the reason why I only use one because I essentially I don't want to overcomplicate things and then lose people during the session. So just do one. To start with, just get a feel for it, and then just go to sets of dhammas. Go to four elements. Go to five indriyas: five, faith, energy, mindfulness, samadhi, you know, wisdom. Go to seven enlightenment factors. Go to, um, you know, you can do things like you can break up a flower or a plant into its constituent parts. You know, essentially, what, whatever your mind uh, like orientates to, that's what you you may need to do. Um, but the, the body, the you know, the the body practice. Is very very firm. It, it gets results very quick, 
but you've just got to be a bit careful. If you do one, you'll, you'll be quite comfortable. But um, you know, once you do sets of five or you go through the body, it all depends. I, I, I can't go through the body with this one. I actually, my mind becomes actually quite disturbed. But I know lay people who can do this practice without any problem at all. I think it's got to do with faculties and sensitivity. I know a guy who's, you know, who's married with young children and he gets very good results with his practice and he doesn't get any trouble with it. But for, for myself, I can, I start, it provokes irritation and it starts provoking anger. So, you know, because I'm, I've already got a basis, I wouldn't call it a, a, a really firm basis in calm, but for me, it, it doesn't work very well. It's like, it's like too forceful. You know, maybe like maybe a set of five. You know, these these five bodily mantras. You know, like head, hair, body, hair, nose, to skin. You know, I can I can do that, but you can you can I can feel it. It's it's not um, it doesn't work so well. But for some people, it, it may be uh, exactly what um, they need to do. But you just feel it out. You know, you 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 don't you don't want to go to essentially you don't want to go to sensuality, and you don't want to go to aversion. You want to keep coming back to the middle point, just over and over. What do you mean by sets of five? Sorry, the one? What do you mean by, what do you mean by s <coughs> sets? Set. Like you were talking about sets, sets of mantra. What, what do you mean by that? Uh, what's... Oh, yeah, yeah, five, um, yeah, sets, sets of dhammas. The, when you look at the 37 enlightenment factors within the, the, the Buddhist system of, of training, spiritual sh training, uh, you look, you've got subsets of factors and if you if you look at Achan Tanisro's uh, wings to awakening he's he's got those sets very very clearly set out in that book of his um, so you can get it in PDF you, you easily get it from the web just download it put it on your phone or your tablet or your computer or whatever and um, and he goes through the chapters so you know you you only have to do this in a peripheral way but you know, you, you can do, you can, you, you can go. Say, for example, the element of faith. You can go more deeply into that if you wish. You know, you can go, like even even just faith as a as one factor. That you can break it down into into even into sub factors. There's there's finer mental elements which make up the element of faith. You know, and you know, say for example, if if faith is incredibly important to you. You just, you know, you just, you, you get out your, your, your Kindle or, or whatnot, and then you word search, and you, you bring up all the, the searches under, 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 under either, either say, Tinisro's material is, is quite good, he's well researched, or even in the suttas, and then you see all the things which go to, cons, cons, uh, to go to uh, support and consolidate that element of faith. You know, there'll be a number of fact, sub factors there, and, you know, things like faith can be supported by. Uh, naturally, by um, you know, study, uh, meditation, discussing um, dharma with your friends, you know, keeping the five precepts. You know, um, you know, when people keep the five precepts, you know, it, it, five precepts is it's not just morality; it's a wisdom practice. You know, when if you if you've got if you've got any any nouns, um, and you know, you you see how it works. You know, when you, people who keep precepts, they 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 keep precepts because. They see a value in, 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 in say, like undertaking the the the, um, the lay training uh, in that area, and it, because essentially it makes life much more smooth, more easy, keeps you out of trouble, um, you know, stops you fighting and arguing, and you know, with other people and uh, getting into trouble and, and, and whatnot. So, um, you know, it's got a it's got a it's got a wisdom component as well, not just not just a moral component. But also with meditation, you know, it, it, um, it helps support your practice in different ways. So you know, you, you can find out the full, the full, you know, the uh, the full business which uh, supports just that single element within the system. Is everyone? Anyone else need to say anything? Or okay, we'll, uh, we'll finish up.